We all eat several foods every day. But how do we eat these foods? Let's take a look at the proper way to eat foods that we all love and also some foods that maybe we have no idea how to eat properly. Next time you are in the Ritz or in an Italian trattoria or any nice restaurant, you will not have to hesitate to order certain dishes. In fact, with these tips and tricks, you can eat with confidence anything from asparagus to ziti. Asparagus can be eaten with your fingers as Europeans do. But if it is too long and awkward to fit into your mouth, just cut it into bite-sized pieces and eat it with your fork. Limp bacon should be eaten European style, with a fork and knife. However, very crisp bacon can be eaten with your fingers. When eating a baguette, take one piece and put it on your bread plate, which should be to the left of your plate. Break off a piece that will fit into your mouth. Put butter onto that piece only. When you are finished or are taking a break, place the knife on the plate with the cutting edge facing you. Cheese can be cut on the cheese plate. We can eat it with a piece of baguette that we break off. We can eat a slice directly with our fingers. We can spread creamier cheese onto toast or a cracker and eat it with our fingers. When we are faced with cherries, the pit is the tricky part. If we have no dessert spoon, we simply spit the pit into our palm and place it onto our dessert plate. If we are served cherries with a dessert spoon, then we spit the pit onto the spoon and transfer it to the dessert plate. Eating chicken, duck, or any big bird is easier than you may think. Usually, we simply eat poultry with a fork and knife. However, it is acceptable to pick up pieces of fried chicken and bite into them when the setting is informal. As long as we remember not to eat like a starved Viking. At a seated meal, a condiment is best served in a small dish with a serving utensil. It is proper to put some onto your plate alongside your food. You should then cut your food and dip a piece into the condiment. It is acceptable to spread some onto your food with your knife as well. To eat or not to eat the decorations? That is the question. Of course we do not eat that little umbrella decorating our drink. But what about edible decorations? Of course it is fine to eat them. You can, however, choose not to eat the decorations as well, especially if they are just fantastical creations from the chef's imagination. We do know how to eat dessert with a passion and quickly or at least I do. But here are just a few rules and regulations to follow. Use a small spoon with a small dish. Use a larger spoon with a larger dish. Use a fork with cake and use a fork and a spoon when things get saucy. Dips are easy, but only if they are the right consistency. Dips that are too thick will break our scoopers. While dips that are too thin will stain our shirts. Be aware. Okay, donuts. Don't dunk them in public, unless the setting is casual enough. Then go ahead. Hard-boiled eggs are eaten with a fork. 
Soft boiled eggs are eaten from an egg holder with a spoon. Just crack your way in there. Sunny side up is eaten with a fork and knife. Don't be afraid to dip your toast in the yolk. It is perfectly acceptable. Scrambled eggs and omelets are eaten with a fork only. The right fish at the right time can be the highest gourmet experience. It is rare to be served a whole fish, however it can happen. If it does, simply separate the filet from the backbone using your fork and knife. It is also appropriate to ask your server to do it for you. Otherwise, fish is eaten with a fork and knife. In upscale restaurants, you will be given a special fish knife. In the case that you get a small bone in your mouth, simply take it out of your mouth with your thumb and index finger and put it on the side of your plate. It is perfectly acceptable to eat fries with your fingers, but only in a casual setting. If the dinner is more formal, you should use your fork and knife. Lemon drops are as important as a pinch of salt, so do not hesitate to squeeze some on your food if desired. It is proper to squeeze with one hand while using your other hand as a shield. You can also pick the lemon wedge up with your fork and squeeze it while shielding it with the other hand. Mussels are nutritious and delicious, and make for very fine dining. Use your hand and a fork to separate the mussel from the shell. You may also use an empty shell as your eating utensil. This works well as the shell offers an easy way to separate the mussel from the shell. Be sure to ask for a bowl of water with some lemon if you are not offered one. This is for cleaning your fingers after you are done eating. Olives present two questions. How do we pick up the salty, greasy creature and what to do with the pit inside? Easy! We pick it up with one of the toothpicks or we can use our fingers. Then we discreetly spit the pit into our palm and put it on our plate. Ah, pizza! Of course we all know how to eat this Italian treat. We use our fingers to pick up the wide end of the wedge. You may also fold the pizza wedge in the center lengthwise to prevent toppings from dripping. Do not attempt to eat pizza with a fork and knife. You will look like a visitor from another galaxy. Do eat potatoes. They are very healthy. Unless of course they are soaked in some unhealthy grease. A baked potato is a great side dish for most meals. Do not mash the baked potato on your plate. Order mashed potatoes if this is what you want. Use your hand to eat potato chips even at the Ritz. Prosciutto is considered one of the world's delicacies. If you see this salt cured ham on the menu, try it for sure. Feel free to pick up a piece of ham with your fingers or wrap it around a grissini, which is a long breadstick, and eat it like a European. This is guaranteed fabulous. Salad should be served in bite-sized pieces. It is eaten with a fork. Wedges and large sections may be cut with a knife. A salad served as a separate course may be eaten with a knife and fork. Remember, play with your salad as little as possible. Eating a kebab is easy. Take a fork and rake piece after piece onto your plate. Eat the pieces with a fork and knife. Voila! When the tail is removed, eat shrimp with a fork and knife. However, shrimp with the tail still on may be held with the fingers and bitten off in one or two bites. 
Discard the tail on the side of your plate or on a side plate. Great soup truly does warm the body and soul. If you want to have soup in a restaurant, go for it. Just make sure you eat it properly. Spoon the soup away from yourself toward the middle of the bowl or soup plate. Sip clear soup from the side of the spoon. Eat a thicker, hearty soup from the front of the spoon. You may tip the plate away from you to fill the spoon with the last bit of soup. When you have finished, place the spoon on your soup plate. If you know how to eat sushi with chopsticks, go ahead. If not, just pick up the pieces with your fingers. If the sushi is too big for one bite, you can eat it in two bites. Enjoy! When faced with a big baked dish of the Italian favorite ziti, just take your fork, dig in, and enjoy. Hopefully, we showed you some tricks and tips on how to eat certain food from asparagus to ziti. Bon appetit!